what do we do without him? What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Ping Tu Honey Badger knockoff MPM8 Megatron. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Uh, this is basically just the box. It came shipped in. It has a big Honey Badger logo on it you can't really see it because it's covered up in the shipping tape but yeah that's pretty much it and inside is just the big old tray that it came packed in and that's it that's the packaging hooray boxes woo so moving right along here we have the knockoff MPM8 Masterpiece Movie Megatron and uh yeah quite nicely done for being a knockoff it's a pretty well done knockoff and here is Megs in his Cybertronian jet thing of murder, which I always like the salt mode. I thought this looked cool. Hey, just my personal opinion. But that's getting closer, so we can take a look at some of the details. As you can see, this is pretty much the exact same as the original. This is not upscaled, this is the exact same size. The only difference is just coloration. Some minor little cosmetic differences here and there, but all in all, though, it is basically the same toy. You see, you get some nice bits of gold throughout the toy now. Gold in there. See his face kind of hidden in there as well. Oh no. Nicely done. Some nice details. Nice and spiky. The way I like my Cybertronian jets. There's big old feet hanging out the back. Oh no. Looking pretty cool. So now let's get down to the only comparison we really need to do here. Here he is with the original MPM-8 Megatron. As you can see from a purely visual standpoint, the only difference here is just in the coloration. Other differences between the two is basically everything that was rubber on the original version is made of hard plastic on the knockoff version, like this part right here, which was rubber. This is hard plastic. Uh, the fingers on this one are rubber. On this figure, they're hard plastic. Uh, these little spiky bits, spiky bits back here on the wings, rubber. These are hard plastic. These little panels right here, which are rubber on the original, are hard plastic on the knockoff. So you don't have any of the rubber parts here on the knockoff. And the knockoff doesn't have as much die cast in it. Um, on the original, this back plate right here is all die cast as well as his feet. On uh, the knockoff, this panel is just plastic. The feet are plastic. There is still die cast in it, just a little bit. Uh, this right here is now die cast. And uh, his, uh, his kneecaps are made of die cast. I don't know if there's any other die cast on it. Not that I've been able to tell. But yeah, a lot less die cast on the knockoff version. And one little cosmetic difference that I noticed, I don't know if there are any others, but this is the only one that I've noticed anyway, is that uh, on this section here, on the original, you can see this section here, this little bit is open, so you can see the tab going through it. And on the knockoff, they have that filled in there. So, you know. Again, little cosmetic difference. There could be more that I haven't noticed, but that's the only one that I've noticed so far. But there you go. So now let's run through his accessories. He does include his gun right here, which is the same mold as the original from what I can tell. And here it is with the original. So you can see them side by side. You know what, we'll even extend them here just so you can get the full look. Get his locks in it out. Boop. And boop. Just so you can kind of see what's going on here. You see you got some nice metallic blue here now on the knockoff version. But otherwise, the exact same, the only difference here is just in the coloration. And we'll just fold this back up. Boop, that's when he's nervous. But anyway, we'll put that there. And you also get the uh, the chain for the chain whip gimmick here in robot mode. And you get not just one, but two of them. That's right, so you can dual wield them, which is pretty cool. And they are made of that bendy plastic. They're not rubber, they're not totally rubber like the original one is. You can see that just kind of, you know, that just kind of flops around. This can actually hold its position there. So not, you know, that complete rubber. It is still bendy, um, you know, but it's nice that you can actually kind of have him, you know, kind of 
in a whipping pose and it can actually hold it, so that's quite nice. So you get two of those, and of course you can store the accessories on the jet mode itself. As far as the gun goes, you can store this right back here, and it helps it kind of bring its feet down, move them out of the way, and kind of unpeg this back section here. And there are just two tabs, two tabs right here that go into these two slots right there. And you just take it and plug it in, plug it in, and then just tab everything back together, bring its feet back up, and that just stores right back there, just like the original. It kind of keeps the, uh, the look of the jet going. So you got that. And of course, the little chain whips. You can plug them back here. You have those little ports right back here. So if you want, you can just plug it back there. Doesn't hold that securely on this one though. This side doesn't want to anyway. Let's try the other way. How about this way? Will this side hold? That side will hold. There we go. There we go. Again, it's a knockoff, so you know, the reverse engineering, so some tolerances may be slightly off, but you can store that back there. And of course you do have the two ports back here. So if you absolutely want to store both of these, you can, if you want to, if you want to store them back here, you can do it. A, as always, your toy, display it however you wish. If you want to store it all, you can store it all. If I can get this pegged in. There we go, I can't get the side pegged in. Get in there, there we go. So again, you can have everything stored if you want to store it. But yeah, that is basically it for the alt mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> oh, not too bad, not too bad of a spin. So let us remove all of his accoutrement and just put that off to the side. And we also need to remove his gun. Just get that on bag. Come on. Release. Release. I'm trying to do it without having to undo all this, but no, nope, you kind of have to undo it. There we go. Alrighty. So we got all that off. So now let us get down to transforming. And the transformation is exactly the same as the original, nothing has changed here. So first thing we'll do is just come down here to the wings, we'll untab this section here, we'll just raise that up, get that out of the way, take this, just swing that under. You want to come here and untab this section here, fold this little bit in, take this, and just fold it all the way up, like so, this section right here, We'll untab and swing underneath like so. Same thing on the other side. Second press is just like the first, just untab like so. Swing that in, untab, fold that little bit in, collapse that like so. And just fold that panel up and we'll leave that alone for now. We're going to untab all of this here, tab this from the legs, bring all of that up, and we can work on the legular region here. Now, if it hasn't done, done bleh, 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 this is my tongue stops working. If it hasn't done it for you already, these little bits here do tab in into his kneecaps, so you just untab those, and bring them out to the side, just gonna get the kneecaps out of the way. And again, these sections are die cast on this version. And once we've done that, I actually need to raise my camera up a little bit because I need some room to operate. There we go, that's better. So once we do that, the legs do extend like so. Close that up, open up the foot, open up the heel, bring out the little back section. And there you have a leg all done. Second pass, just like the fast, so just extend. Like so, make sure that hoops into place, and close that up, open foot, open heel, bring that out, and there you have your legs all done. These sections here will just come back and tab in, tab in, and now stay. Now we can move on to the upper body. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just Untab this whole section right here. You don't want this to come with it. It's actually tabbed in very securely. There we go. So untab all of that and just kind of 
bring that back for now. You can take this chest assembly here, just bring this down, get this out of the way. And we're going to take the arms here and just bring them up and out. And up and out, like so. At this point now, we can work on this bit right here. Now, full disclosure, I did break something on this, um, and it was totally my fault, totally my bad. I take full responsibility because it was just me not paying attention to what I was doing. And um, on this bit right here, I did actually snap off this little this little piece right here, and I did have to uh, I did have to glue it back on because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, and I just snapped it off. And I was like, oh, it just. And doing that made me realize, oh, that's why this is rubber on the original because yeah, yeah, yeah. So just be mindful. Be mindful of what you're doing. Don't be dumb like me and not pay attention. Just yeah. So that was totally my bad. But anyway. <laughs> So, what we're going to do here is we're going to split this nose section down the middle here and we're going to just swing, uh, uh, trying to get this here, there we go, just swing this down like so and then we're going to bring that in, untap that, bring that over, swing that over and then this will just collapse up like so. Second verse is just like the first, so just bring that out, swing that down, bring that in, bring that over, bring that over, and collapse this up like so. And then we can take these and just rotate them inward like that. And we can, this hasn't been pushed down by something else, push that down, take this section and adjust bring this back on this double hinge. This is quite snug on mine. Let's bring that back there to expose that beautiful face of his. And we can keep going here. So now, now we're just going to just bring all this up and drop it down into this opening right here. And there is a little tab that goes in up in here. So just make sure all that goes in where it's supposed to. Like so, we can just kind of bring this chest piece up. Right now, we don't want to lock anything in yet because we have to do his shoulders. So the shoulders work the exact same way. You have tab back here that will go in there. You have tab in the slot there that goes into tab and slots there. So just kind of swing all this in, swing it around, and just push it up. And everything should sit where it should, and then you can tab this section right on there and I think we got that I think and then same thing on your side just bring all that up and just swing it around swing it up and in again this takes a little bit of fiddling but then again I did on the original toy too so you know again nothing's changed <laughs> so you got all that situated right there I believe there we go, that gets tabbed into either side. And then we can just, also a tab there right in the middle. Just pop that down. There you go. Chest is all secured. Hooray, hooray for chests. So now we will just bring his arms down and we will just work on his arms right quick. You just untap this bit right here so you can rotate the arm. You also want to untab this section here, which frees up that outward movement. And then we just take this panel here. This swings up. This panel here comes up right there. There you have an arm all done. Second verse, as usual, just like the first. So just untab that, untab that. Rotate. And... Then we just untap this from the finger, bring it up, bring this section up, and there you have his arms all done. So now we move on to the backpack. So what we're doing here, just kind of bring this down and getting it out of our way. And the wing sections here will just collapse inward, like so. And they will meet in the middle and tab in like that. And then you have these two slots right here for 
these two tabs right here. So just bring that up, make sure these little wings are up. And just, hey, 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 you stay, hey, hey, there you go. Just tab that in like so, get that nice and squozen. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo, we are done. And there you have Megatron in his robot mode. And what a difference a paint job makes. I think he looks great. I think he looks fantastic in my opinion anyway. Really like the look of this guy. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that beautiful, beautiful face of his. Oh, look at that. Look at that. He could be a model. He could be a model on Cybertron. <laughs> There's my, as you can see, some nice, coloration going on there. The eyes are done in red. Around very nicely done. Head sculpt, and just like the original, but still looks quite good. And you don't have that transparent red plastic in here either. Again, you got some that nice gold coloration throughout the figure. Looks really nice, looks really good. And going down the body, little spindly fingers. No, no, it looks really, really good. Get a big old feet. A little at the back, and everything just like the original, but looks quite, quite good. And now, articulation wise, the head can rotate. You do have that hinge there. You can raise up, which is quite snug on mine, but you can rotate his head around. You can also have the head. Moving forward, if you need him to kind of look down, look more up, do a squirrel, can totally do all kinds of that if you need. His mouth, of course, can open and close, so he can num 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 num, you know, so he can eat his burritos. Shoulders can rotate. Ugh. On a nice ratchet joint, get a little bit uh, hindered by the backpack there, but you can get him around. These sections right here can move out of the way. So you have the nice outward movements. You do have rotation right at the elbow itself. And you have about 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. Again, all that on nice ratchets. The wrist can rotate. He does have his spindly little fingers here, which can splay out. They reach on a hinge at the base. And these fingers right here do have a hinge here and a hinge there. He does have Waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far, back that far. You can move these bits out of the way. For leg movement, you can do the full splits. You do have rotation right above the knee. You get 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. Little knee pads are on a hinge here as well. This extra little spike here is on a hinge. You can adjust that however you wish. Arms of the feet, they can be pulled down on this double hinge if you need to, so the feet can move up, you can move them down, and you get all kinds of tiltage there. So, there you go. And of course we can give him his weaponry, we can give him his gun, and of course the storage works exactly the same. We can kind of take this and just shift that over to the side, and this can look onto his butt, like so. So you have that storage back there, if you wish, or of course, we can arm him up properly here by removing his hands, and this can just plug in like so. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. And if you want to the full effect here, we can pop off both of his hands and bring them together and just bring that out, attach it onto the other side like so. Open that up. Give him the full extendo gun, and you can have that going on if you wish. And of course, we can give him the chain whip hands here, and it works the exact same way. You just pop off the hand, plug this in, plug the hand onto the end, and there you go. He's got his chain whips, and again, it's cool because it can actually hold the pose, which is nice, and the base is on a hinge there, so you can have that angled wherever you want, and that's pretty cool. And of course, you can 
have this stored just like on the original and just plug it in right back there. But what's really cool is now that he has two, you can dual wield. And that's quite, quite cool. Plug that in. And there you go. You can have that going on. I like that. I like that very much. And another thing you can do, since we have two of them now, you can do this. And I'm sure somebody's wondering. And the answer is yes. Yes, you can, since you have two of these now. You can actually connect them to each other, like that. <laughs> and have a mega chain whip. Hey, why not? Now that's not going to hold the pose because that's just too much weight. But hey, still, a thing you can do if you want to do it. Now that's a whip. And the last thing to show off is in his chest here. We can just open this up. And in here we have the all spark. You can see, it is nicely done. And here it is with the original version. You can see the knockoff version done. And that's darker silver there. But basically the same. As you can see, it just plugs right into his chest. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And you can pop out this central portion here of his chest plates. And again, reenact his final scene in the movie where he's all like, ah, 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 dead. So there you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with the original MPM Megatron. And again, you can see the differences in the uh, coloration here between the two. And in my opinion, anyway, the knockoff looks so much better. Just love the way this looks. Just really pops. So, there you have that. And here he is with the Legendary Toys. Knock off MPM Prime, and they look real nice together. Very, very nice. Me likes, me likes. So, there you go. So there you have the knockoff MPM Megatron. Um, you know, it's a knockoff, but it's a nicely done knockoff. It doesn't make any major changes to the mold itself, but just the color scheme makes it look so much better. Quality-wise, he feels good. He feels solid. He feels sturdy. That piece I broke off was totally my bad. That was just me not paying attention and just kind of ham-handing it. So that was totally my fault that that part broke. But it does feel quite solid and sturdy. Just don't be stupid like me and be mindful of what you're doing when you're transforming him. But all in all, very nicely done. I am quite pleased with him. So there you go. Now I pick this guy up from Sir Toys. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. For all your official Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out my knockoff Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Pink 2 Honey Badger knockoff MPM8 Megatron. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Boom in your face. Listen, Prime, sure we say we hate each other. Sure we fight all the time, but come on. Really? We're kindred spirits. We're like soulmates. And besides, what would you do without me, Prime? Do you really want to find out? Um... No? You, you know what? You're getting, you're getting that crazy look in your eyes. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go, but um... You know what? I'll ask you that question again at a later time when you're not looking like that. Bye.